Next week, leaders from around the world will be in New York for the UN Climate Action Summit talking about global warming. Tonight, CBS's Jonathan Vigliotti shows us how a weather phenomenon known as the blob is impacting the world's largest ocean, the Pacific. The creatures at this San Diego Rescue Center are getting a second chance at life. She has had severe pneumonia. SeaWorld's Jody Westberg expects to release these sea lions early next year and is dreading what could happen next. The animals that are the most heart wrenching for us to rescue are the animals that the only reason we're rescuing them is because of something caused by human impact. They could soon be victims of the blob, a science fiction sounding term for ocean heat waves made worse by climate change and responsible for toxic algae blooms that kill plankton, a key food source for marine life. They're a vital habitat. Exactly. At stake here. Exactly. We're seeing more warming and it's becoming um, more frequent. Oceanographer Melissa Carter measures water temperatures and algae levels. She's concerned that the massive blob that formed in the Pacific in 2015 is now reforming. You see this, again, this persistent warm water. A side-by-side -side comparison of Pacific temperatures then and now show striking similarities, some areas 12 degrees above normal. And another blob could decimate the shellfish industry, as it did in 2015. While the fish at Seattle's Pike Place Market are considered safe for now, this Washington State lab is conducting regular tests by blending them and measuring for toxins. The risk is elevated. The conditions are more favorable for toxic events to happen. There is an increased risk. The ocean is critical. It's the most critical piece of giving us a moderate climate on Earth. But once again in the Pacific, what was moderate is now extreme, leaving these animals an uncertain future. It must be frustrating. You do all this work to restore her health, but then she's returning to an ocean whose health you have no control over. It is. They're really letting us know what's going on with the ocean's health. What's impacting them is eventually going to impact us. Jonathan Migliotti, CBS News, San Diego. News 8 will be reporting along with CBS for their special climate series, Eye on Earth, this week, leading up to the Climate Action Summit in New York City starting on September 23rd.